Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 10 of C programming on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over the for loop, which is pretty much identical to the while loop. Um, it's just written a little differently, but it does the exact same thing. Um, some of the advantages are that it can be a little shorter, and that it also uh, just makes sometimes your code a little easier to read. So anyway, uh, to start out, I'm going to create a while loop, uh, the exact same as the last tutorial. And so I'm going to initialize the variable, and I'm going to start it out as 5. And uh, our while loop condition will be i when i or while i is less than or equal to 5. It's going to do this, and we're going to print a statement saying this is loop, and we're going to put our variable in here. Um, our variable has a, since our variable has a value of 1, um, we'll, this will say this is loop 1 and etc. as it goes up. So, and then of course we have to put our incrementer variable at the end. So this runs, um, i, I gets a value of 1, so i is less than or equal to 5, yes. So print f, this is loop um, 1, and then i will increment itself by 1, and then it'll start again. So 2 is less than or equal to 5, blah 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 blah, and then it'll eventually get to 5 and it'll be done. So um, that's our uh, while loop. So, uh, to make this a little more clear in the console, I'm going to put a backslash n so that each time this goes down one line. Okay, so if that was too fast, um, the reason I just kind of flew through that was because I did the exact same thing in my last tutorial, so I don't really feel like doing it again right now. So anyway, um, we're going to build and run this, and that was mostly out of the interest of time, by the way. But anyway, uh, this is loop 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, blah, 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 and that's basically how that runs. So it, um, yeah, if you didn't get that, I explained it all in the last tutorial. That's how the while loop runs. So anyway, the reason I wrote the while loop out is because the for loop is uh, easily comparable. So we're going to make a new variable to separate these two. So we're going to make um, an incrementer variable of j. So j, we don't have to declare what j gets, like we do in the while loop. We don't have to say j gets 1. We can just leave it as j. So we're going to make a variable j, and in our for loop, that's where we're going to, where we're going to actually say what our variable starts as. So the initial is what the variable starts as. The condition is just what this is in the while loop, is our condition of what makes the for loop run. And the increment is just this part of the while loop, which uh, increments our number by whatever amount we give it. And then of course the statements are the stuff inside the loop. So anyway, to start this out, we just have to say uh, j gets a value of 1, like we do up here. j gets 1. Our condition is going to be j. If j is less than or equal to 5, then it will run this. And then our increment will just be j++ to make uh, the value of j go up by 1 every time this for loop runs. And then for our printf, we're just going to do the exact same thing. This is loop, and we're going to put our value in there. As um, We'll put our value in there of j. And so this is loop, and um, when this is running, this is loop 1, this is loop 2, etc, etc. So as you can see, this is exactly the same as the while loop. There's really no difference to it. So um, how this is going to run, uh, j is going to get a value of 1, like it does in the while loop, and then it's going to test this value here. So is j less than or equal to 5? Or in other words, is 1 less, or less than or equal to 5? Yes, so then it will run this printf statement, and that'll say this is loop, this is loop 1, and then it will go back up here, and it will increment it. So now j++ plus plus gives it one more than it started, so j is now a value of 2. Uh, so since j is now 2, it doesn't go back to this statement, obviously, because then it wouldn't really make any sense. This is just initializing the variable, like we do up here. So now, once it's incremented, now that j is, has a value of 2, it'll start the loop again. 2 is less than or equal to 5, and you get the idea. It keeps looping through it. Until uh, f until j has a value of 6, it won't work anymore, and that will get you out of the loop. And uh, so yeah, just to run this, you can see that 
this is loop one, two, three, four, five, and that's our while loop up here. And then our second part is our for loop, which does the exact same thing. This is loop one, two, three, four, five, and yeah, so that's the for loop right there. So our next part, um, or the next thing that I just wanted to talk about briefly, is that um, with all these different things, like an if statement, um, if statements, uh, not really while, more, more if and for, um, but you could do it with a while statement too, but I'll show you what it does. If you take out the curly braces here, you can make your code a little more together. And basically what this does is uh, it'll run the next line that's um, right after the for, for loop. So for, and then it will only process this one line of information. Anything I write after that, even if it's indented like that, it's not going to write it. So even if I had something here, it's not going to write this into the for loop. Or in other words, it's not going to repeat this um, this hello message. And to show this, as you can see, it's just going to tack on the hello at the end. It doesn't repeat in the loop. So just again, if you take out the curly braces, it will run the one ne the next line of code that's after the loop or the if statement, for that matter. And then uh, this is not actually part of the loop. And for proper style, it should be over here as well. So there, that's um, uh, just about the for loop. So as you can see, um, just to take that out, you compressed this um, this uh, for loop here into three different lines of code, and this while loop is consisted of five different lines since it needs uh, this uh, these braces to contain two lines of code, and you also need the incrementer um, after this statement. So that's the while loop and the for loop compared, and um, as you can see, they're very similar. And uh, I just fool around with both of these and. As you'll uh, get the hang of how they're the exact same thing and uh, yeah so I hope you understand uh, how for loops work um, if you like these tutorials then uh, please subscribe to the channel and rate the video thumbs up and also um, if you haven't already um, or sorry if you uh, have a question then uh, just send me a message but also um, some people have asked me to do um, like iPhone tutorial, like iPhone app tutorials, and um, generally, I don't like to start out with that because it's um, the language is a little more complicated, and C is just kind of basic, so it's a little easier to start out with something basic and work up. Um, it has many of the same things in it, but since C uh, is just a little older and it it's easier to understand some of the basic concepts. So no, I will not be starting iPhone tutorial or iPhone app tutorials in a little while, but uh, maybe after a while I will start them uh, if people are interested enough anyway. So uh, yeah, that's basically future plans, I guess, if you want to know them. So this is uh, this has been the tutorial on the for loop. So anyway, um, talk to you next tutorial.